Your next comedian you've seen touring all across the country. Please keep it going for Mark Hoffmeyer! Yeah. So my brother uh, asked me uh, what I was going to talk about tonight. I said, uh, you know, I'm going to talk about something fun and light and fluffy. So I'm going to talk about religion. Uh, I'm actually an atheist, but in my younger years, I was a very conservative Christian. And I don't think we can really talk about Jesus in this country anymore, unless we talk about the Chosen One, the Second Coming of Jesus, of course, our beloved President Donald Trump. <laughs> and so the other day I was thinking, well, that's interesting, because what if Donald Trump actually is Jesus? What if, say, we melded Donald Trump and Jesus? We'll call him mm, Trumpsus. And what if, say, Trumpsis did the Sermon on the Mount, that famous part of the Gospels known as the Beatitudes, you know, the blessed. Blessed are the meek. Blessed are the downtrodden. What if, rather than Jesus, what if Trumpsis had done that? I think it would have gone something like this. It's so great to be here on the Mount today and see such a huge crowd. You know, I don't think any other prophets get crowds like this, okay? <laughs> You know, uh, I, I, I'm just so terribly popular, certainly much more popular than that headless John the Baptist, okay? You know, I prefer my prophets keep their heads, okay? Uh, I had my disciple, Stephen, uh, Stephen the Miller, go through the crowd today and make sure there were no Assyrians or Egyptians or Nubians in particular here. I just wanted a pure Israeli crowd, okay? You know, uh, because, hey, make Israel great again. That's my theme, right? You know, I'm just so terribly popular. I think I'm more popular than, say, Elisha. You know, you always put a chair out for him. He never shows up. I show up, okay? I'm very popular. In fact, I think I'm so popular that I could probably strangle a Sadducee in the middle of the temple in Jerusalem, and nobody would crucify me. Nobody. Okay? I'd also like to clear something up about these Romans, okay? Everybody says, uh, Trump says you're friends with the Romans, yes? I, I love the emperor, Putin is Maximus. Very strong guy, okay? They say, they say, Trump says, were you negotiating to build Trump's tower Herculaneum while you were running to be our savior? No, I was not. Fake scripture, okay? Fake scripture. <laughs> the scribes are out to get me. The scribes are the enemies of the people, okay? Now, the other thing I'd like to talk about are these commandments. You know, I, I come to bring a new law. I, I don't like commandments. I don't, I don't like to be commanded. <laughs> so, in particular, I think we can get rid of this, thou shalt not commit adultery. Come on. We all need a little adultery, right? I mean, I'm perfect, but I do like some adultery. The other one, thou shalt not lust after thy neighbor's wife. Come on. After a busy day of, you know, uh, you know, making loaves from more loaves and making fillet of fish from some other fish, you know, I like to do a little bit of lusting. That's what I do because I get busy. You know, the other day, uh, my disciples brought this uh, little girl to me. She was possessed by demons. Her name was Greta. She had a horrible anger management issue. They said, Oh, Lord Trump says, can you cast the demons out of her? I said, no, uh, I can't right now. You know, the disciples and I are going down to Nazareth the Lago. We're going to shoot 18 holes. Okay? <laughs> but when I get back, I'll call Satan. I know Satan. He's a good friend of mine. Great guy. Fantastic businessman. That's all I have to say. And we'll see what we can do, okay? Because, oh, how, how I do suffer when they bring these children unto me, okay? Um, you know, the other thing when I'm out here uh, doing these rallies on the mount, People are always saying, Trump says you have these great stories. Can you tell us some of your stories? I call them my parabolas, okay? So I'll tell you one of my favorite parabolas, okay? Uh, it's the parabola of the Good Samaritan. But, you know, I've changed it. It's a great Samaritan. Who wants a good Samaritan when you can have a great Samaritan, right? Okay? So let's say a woman is walking down the street. We'll call her Nancy. Nasty Nancy is walking down the street in a real shithole part of the country, we'll say Samaria Francisco, for example, okay? It's been ruined by immigrants and drugs, and she's gotten beaten up by some myrrh-huffing Hittite, right? And he's left her there. So, you know, then a Pharisee comes by, and he just passes by. A Sadducee comes by and just keeps going. And then a, a good Trumpsist supporting Great Samaritan comes by and looks at poor Nasty Nancy. And what does he do? But well, he strangles her with his bare hands and buries her in a shallow grave. The end. I'm hoping that parable comes true. I'm just saying that. That's all I'm saying, okay? You know, the other thing I want to bring up is, uh, you know, uh, Melania Magdalene came to me, and she said, uh, she said, Trump says, 
uh, did you get my friend Stormy pregnant? They said, no, I did not. Inaccurate conception, okay? Inaccurate conception. I didn't do those things. You know, while we're out here on the mount, I'd like to leave you with this one thought today, and that's Trump's his golden rule. I love it, it's golden, here it is, very simple. I hope that you can all learn to love me in the same way that I love myself, okay? And even though I'm an atheist, I'd like to say in conclusion that I still think one of the most beautiful parts of the Bible is in fact the true golden rule. And how much better would the world be right now if we did love our neighbors as we love ourselves? So thank you very much, I'm Mark Hoffman.